In this second part of the video series, we will see how to fix and recover data from SD card that is showing the error messages, blank SD card and damaged SD card. So stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel howisolve.com. Howisolve.com, a YouTube community helping people to solve everyday tech problems. Hi guys, Neil here. These error messages, blank SD card and damaged SD card can happen due to many reasons. So it is essential for us to first narrow down to the exact reason this error is happening in your device. We had done that in part 1 of this video series. If you have not seen that video, I would suggest you first check that video out and then view this one. Click the button at the bottom left corner of the screen to view that video. Now let us recover your data and repair your SD card. This tutorial is divided in two parts. In the first part, we will see how to repair and recover data in SD card having basic file system corruption. If this method doesn't work for you, then watch our second video which solves advanced file system corruption problems. Before we begin this tutorial, let's look at its prerequisites. You'd be requiring a SD card reader a Windows System 10 8.1 or 7 H2 test W utility that we'll be using for testing our SD card. The download link for this utility is in the video description and you will require administrative rights on the system. First let's connect the SD card to your computer using the USB SD card reader. On connecting the SD card reader, four possible scenarios can be possible. The first scenario can be that your SD card is detected properly and all your files are visible in the disk. If that is the case, click the button in the left side of the screen to skip to the backup and format SD card section. The other cases can be that the SD card is not detected at all by the computer. Your SD card is detected but there are no files visible on it. Your SD card is detected but there is an error message that is being displayed to you. This error message can be displayed. You need to format the disk in drive E before you can use it. Do you want to format it? All these three cases indicate a possible file system corruption on the SD card. So don't worry friends, we will show you step by step how to solve this problem. The first step is to open disk management. In Windows 7, Click on start, click on control panel, then click on administrative tools and then computer management and then disk management. In Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, to open disk management, right click on the start button and select disk management. In disk management, under the volumes, identify the drive which is representing your SD card. In my case, it is J drive. You can identify the drive by seeing the capacity. Since mine is a 2 GB SD card, so J is my drive. Under this, scroll down to find the your SD card disk. In my case, it is disk 1 here. Check the status of the disk. If it's been shown FAT, FAT32 or NTFS over here, then no problem. But if you are seeing here raw, then it means that your file system has been corrupted significantly. And to solve that problem, you have to follow the guide for advanced file system corruption. Click on the button that you can see on the left side of the screen to watch that guide. For other scenarios, for FAT, NTFS and FAT32, we'll continue with this tutorial. So next, we have to open check disk. For that, we have to first open command prompt in admin mode. In Windows 7, to open command prompt in admin mode, click on start, type in cmd, right click and select run as administrator. Click yes if a USB pops up. In Windows 10 and 8.1, to open command prompt in admin mode, right click on the start button and select command prompt admin. If a USB pops up, click on yes. Now, we'll run check this. For that, type the command chkdsk space slash x slash r space followed by a SD card drive letter. In my case, it is J. So, I will type J colon. Hit enter. This will dismount the drive and then try to repair the file system automatically. After this, SD card should 
be detected in your computer properly with all your files visible. If the check disk couldn't complete and you received an error message, you can see the guide to solve advanced file system corruption. Click the button on the left side of the screen to view that tutorial. So now you can back up your data that you can see on the SD card. Create a folder where you want to keep the backup files. I'll create a folder called backup. Select all the files by typing Ctrl A and copy it, Ctrl C. Go to the backup folder that you just now created and paste it, Ctrl V. Now since we have backed up your files on the computer itself, we will now format the SD card. So to format it, right click on the drive and select format. On this, ensure that the file system is selected as default here this default and in allocation unit size is also selected on default allocation size you can write any name in the volume label and ensure you quick format is checked then click on start it will give a warning telling us that all the data would be deleted on the disk since we have already backed up our files it's not a problem for us so we'll click ok after that the format complete notification would be issued and click ok and we we'll close now we'll test this sd card to detect if it is a fake sd card or an original sd card and also test its read write speed for that we will use our h2 test w utility the links for which is in the video description of this video so we'll open this folder we'll click on this exe file select the language as english and now we'll select the target this will be your sd card drive in my case it is j so here yeah. click on ok we'll check the sd card whether it actually has the capacity that it is showing by writing a file that is equivalent to the full capacity of the drive so for that we'll select all available space click on write plus verify it will take some time depending upon the capacity of your sd card as well as its read write speed so i'll pause the video here and then we'll come back after this test is finished okay friends now uh, this test has finished as you can see it has finished without any errors it is also indicating the write speed as 13 mbs per second and read speed as 16.3 mbs per second so if your sd card was fake it would indicate a warning here or an error indicating it wasn't able to write the full capacity of the disk. Since we have no warning, we have nothing to worry about. The next step would be to format the SD card in the phone in which you would be using it. This is being done because there are a couple of devices which require the SD card to be formatted using its own utility before you use it. So for that, you can now remove the SD card from the SD card reader and insert it back into your Android device. To format your SD card in the Android device, pull the notification section down and then click on the settings icon. Here depending upon your Android version, the screen might change but you have to search for storage. In mine, it is being shown under the devices heading here storage. Tap on storage. First you will be shown the device memory that is the internal memory. Then below you will find your SD card. Here tap on format SD card. Then it will ask you to confirm whether you really want to format it. Again tap on format SD card. After that your SD card should work properly on this Android device. After formatting it on the Android device, you can copy back the data that you had backed up on your computer into the SD card. By again inserting the SD card in your computer using the SD card reader. So we will do that. Control A, Control C, and go to our SD card that is the J drive, and then press Control V. Hit the like button if the problem was solved. If not, view our third part of the video series to fix the advanced file system corruption. If this video helped you, please be part of this community. Join us in the goal of helping people with their everyday tech problems. Share this video to forums where you have visited in search of solving this problem. Join our community by subscribing to our channel. We love to hear your feedback and experiences. Share it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye.